These two decorated athletes helped Team Canada earn Olympic bronze in women's soccer in Rio. Now they're bringing the game back to Canada, and you actually have a chance to see them. Please welcome Janine Becky and Shalina Zadorsky. Beautiful Thank ladies you. and really representing us so well. We were just talking about the fact that it's been seven months, and yet it feels like yesterday when you were on that podium. Yeah, that's crazy. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Time so flies. talk to us about what that felt like, because I know you went in hungry, as everybody does. That's why you're an Olympic athlete. You train so hard. And then to actually pull off a win and you end up on the podium, was that a most surreal moment for you all? Yeah, I think just that team was so special. And just to go back-to-back -back podiums and, and get that bronze medal for a second Olympics in a row was so special. And then to come home and share it with Canada, it's been, it's been a crazy year for sure. Did you get right back at it in terms of training? or what, I mean, what followed weeks after? Well, those of us in the NWSL, which is the league in the States, we went right back into our, the end of our season. So some of us were right back into it, others took some time off, and then at the end of this, the professional season, we had a couple months without any national team activity, and then um, just a few weeks ago, played our celebration match in Vancouver, and that was really cool. And now we have big news. Who wants to break it in terms of what's happening in June? Go ahead. We have home games in June in Winnipeg and Toronto, so we'll be playing Costa Rica at home and looking to put on a good show for our Canadian fans. So two games in June, you're hosting Costa Rica. Is there hometown advantage, do you find, when you're playing? Oh, oh yeah. absolutely. Mm -hmm. So absolutely. you're going to take this? Oh, for sure. <laughs> Are you preparing <laughs> mentally for 2019? Yeah, World I Cup, think, and then of course 2020 Olympics. Yeah, I mean the big events are always in the back of our minds, and that's what we prepare for. And now, um, you know, we are just chatting about how this is, you know, our cycle for the new generation of players, the younger players, and this team could be incredibly different in three years. So mm -hmm. uh, you got to take what you have now, but with with that in the back of our minds. On this anti-bullying day, I think you two are pillars of what we all have to aspire to be for young women out there. What do you want to say? Have you ever been bullied to kids out there who are maybe into sports and maybe they're getting made fun of? Or I don't know if you ever experienced any bullying. Um, I haven't personally experienced bullying, but I think we all see it. And um, we're all, you know, a part of it in some way. So um, for me, it's just being confident in what you have passion for yeah. and not so cliche but not letting anyone take that away from you yeah. and I think that's what's gotten us so far is that you know anyone can do what we do if they put the time and effort in and you really can't let anyone tell you you can't do it because if you do then you're not going to get there but if you shush the haters and you know do what you want to do then you're going to get where we are or anywhere in music um, acting, anything like that. Anything. Reach Absolutely. for the stars. Thank you so much. Those very inspiring guys. Make sure you get your tickets. They're going to go fast. They actually go on sale March 8th, which is International Women's Day. How yeah. apropos. Perfect. And of course, Team Canada taking on Costa Rica right here in Toronto on June 11th. Breakfast Television.ca for all the information. Thank you so much for being Thank here. You. Thank Over you. To you Kev.